Are there stories you tell within your family or with your friends? Storytelling has been around for a very long time. We tell stories through talking and writing, but did you know you can also tell stories through art? Over 400 years ago, an artist named Hendrik Gut created this print to tell a story that he heard about a goddess called Ceres. There are lots of details in this artwork that help tell this story. There are many elements that make up a story. Some that we can see in this artwork are characters, setting, and point of view. Setting is where a story takes place. This story takes place outdoors in a forest outside of a wooden house. What else does this setting tell us about this story? This story seems to take place at night. We can tell that because it's dark and someone is holding a candle. What else do you see in this story? Who are some of the characters you see? I see a young woman drinking from a pot. This is Ceres, the main character in this story. She is a goddess. Can you guess what she's the goddess of? The artist has given us clues in the artwork. See the big, leafy plants behind her? This helps us to know that she's the goddess of agriculture. There are also farm tools behind her. Tools like these are used to remove plants from the earth so that we can eat them. This is called harvest, and Ceres is also the goddess of the harvest. Notice how she's outside someone's house? This is because in this story, she's looking for her daughter. This makes sense because she is also the goddess of motherhood. Who are some of the other characters you can see? Who do you think is telling this story? This is called the narrator. A narrator tells a story from their point of view. Since we can see the whole story and all the characters in it, it's like someone is guiding us through everything that's happening, one clue at a time. This is called third-person narration. Maybe the artist, Hendrik Gut, is the narrator.